Yeah, could you start by saying your name, the name of your, your firm and the, and the kind of geographical area that you cover? Sure, my name is Dennis Madden and uh, it's Malvern in Victoria and the firm is Madden Financial Advisors. And how long have you been um, practicing financial advice? Since 2003, so we're coming up to 16 years now. So, And when did you make the switch to be independent? About three years ago. It was a decision that we were very close to. Um, the only thing we ever did was just insurance commissions. We thought we'd just get rid of that as well. We've always been fee-for-service. But I think for this, for this uh, organisation, this association to be a profession, this industry to be a profession, we need to to take the plunge and to do it. So I took the firm there three years ago. And was there, uh, was there a particular you know, driver for you in terms of, you, you know, you talked about that that's something the profession needs to mm. do, but you know, just from a personal perspective, was there any real emotional driver for you to, to you know, become fully independent? Yes, I think so. It was to do with the fact that we need to not be conflicted. I mean, I think law, medicine, um, engineering, accounting even, um, all of them are without fear or favour. They're, they're there to service the client. And there is no conflicted remuneration structures. There's no incentives. There's no trips to the Grand Prix and trips to the tennis and these, you know, soft dollar things. So we just go to St Kilda Beach in Melbourne and we, we're just, uh, you know, sort of a holiday locally. So we don't need any of those special incentives. Mm. And um, how has it, um, is there been any real difference in terms of how you operate or how you feel, you know, in terms of, you know, how you operate um, since you've become independent? I think it's a feeling of just cleanliness. It's just, it's just clean. There is, there's no need to hide anything. You can put your financial services guide out and it's, um, it could be scrutineered by the finest Queen's Council there is. There is nothing to hide. You are simply there, fully transparent, there, just for the needs of the client. Fantastic. Mm. Um, okay, so thinking about in, in terms of mm. while m most mm. people will come for, for financial mm. advice, it's, it's retirement yeah. planning, yeah. Um, and you know the particularly um, the preparing to retire. You know, the couple of years mm. before. Are there any kind of mistakes that you've seen people make consistently, typically over over the years that you've, um, or, or any tips that you might want to give? Probably, uh, the, t I think to make sure you've got a good retirement is that this concept of a holistic approach. Now, as part of our strategic plan, we sat down a number of years ago and actually developed a chartered accounting business as well. So we've got issues like tax minimization, uh, the appropriate tax structures, um, uh, as well as the savings components for a superannuation or a good retirement, the calculators to be able to determine how much you need and all of that, and the regular reviews with the client. But I think it's about having your tax specialist in one room and your advisor in one room. It really doesn't work if the tax specialist is in one suburb and the advisor is in another suburb. In theory, they should all work well together. They don't. They often don't like each other and they've got different strategic relationships. The loser is the client. And I think one of the reasons we do so well as a firm is because we have this integrated model of accounting and financial advice together. And different to most firms, it's not an accounting firm that started financial advice, it's an advice firm that started um, accounting. Okay, great. And um, so for me, one of the most baffling things that people can kind of get their head around when thinking about retirement is retirement income. So in terms of how, how you go from a wage to, to you know, um, or even before you've got a, a plan, like just working out the strategy of how it all works. Is there anything that you typically, um, you know, in terms of pension, regular income, is there any way that you can have, um, any tricks that you use to kind of help people understand that change and what they need to um, do and get their head, how, how to get their head around? I think modeling is the best way. I think there are two key questions to ask. Indicatively, when would, when would you like to retire? And roughly, in today's money, uh, leaving inflation out, how much would you like to have? And then we talk about the Australian Bureau of, of uh, Statistics mortality tables. So if a guy's going to retire at 60 and the uh, ABS mortality tables say you've got um, 85, well, 
leaving out the fact you may have good genes and go on longer, that's 25 years. How are we going to fund you for 25 years? Now, are you going to be a self-funded retiree and not jump through government hoops of incomes tests and assets tests? Do you need one dollar of the mature age pension to get the healthcare card because you've had leukaemia and various other high priced drugs that you need on a regular basis, which means you'll be a, a partially funded retiree? Or are you going to say, no, I've paid taxes all my life. Are you from the government? Give me money. I deserve that. So again, I think it's important to clarify all of these points on behalf of your client. So it helps. Great stuff. Um, and any, any kind of um, advice for people who have never had advice before, they don't even know what to do, how to, how to, uh, um, you know, what to expect when, when, when meeting a financial advisor. Is there anything that you, um, you, you can say in terms of the, the best way to make the most of you know, getting financial advice for a newcomer? Well, I think uh, the, the key thing is really what are your goals, is to help them clarify their goals. The rest of the stuff, name, rank and serial number is pretty much straightforward. How much have you got in super? Do you have income protection? Um, you know, how much are you paying in tax? I think they're basic sort of questions. But the big thing are the, the goals. Where do you want your children to go to school? How much money do you want to have in retirement? Do you want to build wealth through bricks and mortar or do you prefer shares? I mean, or whatever it may be. Or do you want to just plan to eat vanilla slices in France and travel on a regular basis? You know, whatever the issue is, we're here to help you as to your unique needs. So because we're independent, we have no product to push, we have no agenda to push, it's really all about you. Fantastic. Um, anything else that you think might be valuable for, for our, our readers? Look, uh, I think valuable for the readers would be that um, I think the independent way for financial planning is the, the future. There's no question of, of, of that. And um, if you need um, red hot advice, uh, Madden Financial Advisors in Milton Parade, Malvern. Great stuff. That's <laughs> wonderful. Thank you.